let's start priyan could you please repeat uh, read it yes ma'am preposition a preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and something other words in a sentence yeah so the a preposition basically is a word that shows connection relation between a noun or pronoun and some other words in the sentence so basically it shows the relation connection join the word by showing the connection for example okay we have three types of prepositions we will do preposition of place preposition of time and date preposition of direction so first we will do preposition of place let's see what is preposition of place can you tell me yes krishna and preposition of place uh, means the prepositions which define the place of some of, of any object for okay. example may i give a sentence no 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 i'll ask you next, okay. after it yeah so preposition of place like in on under next to behind in front of or between so basically it shows that there is a ball and a box and what is the relation between ball and box that the ball is in the box so that in showing the place place of a uh, preposition of place this is a ball this is a box and the ball is on the box so on is preposition of place this is under this is next to this is behind this is in front of and this ball is in between these two boxes can you give me one one sentence by using any of this preposition in the chat box yeah and don't send me directly just do it to everyone and i want everyone's participation hi vivek uh, we are doing prepositions prepositions basically like in on under next to behind in front of between okay that shows a relation between a noun and a other part of the sentence so can you make a sentence on any of this preposition okay. Ma'am, what I am writing chat box. Write a sentence by using any of this preposition. You can see the example in chat box. My laptop is on the table. The cat is in the box. Okay. Next. the pocket money of geeta is on the table now i actually accidentally wrote on money okay the glass is under the table okay good let's do the next part 
Okay, preposition of place. Who will read? I will send another one. Dianesh. Preposition of place differs uh, where someone or something is. Some prepositions of place are above, some after, by, beneath, besides. Beneath, besides. Near, between, among, in front of, behind, under, below, opposite, etc. Example, there is a brush near the bush, bush near bush the near the school playground. The hospital is opposite the post office. We slept under the open sky. He divide dived dive below the surface of the water. Thank you. So, preposition of place basically shows where. Where is the most important thing? Where someone or something is. Is it on, in, under, behind, beside, beneath, opposite? Okay, so that is preposition of place. Example, there is a bush near the school playground. So, where is the bush? Near the school playground. So, near is the place. The hospital is opposite the post office. Suppose this is a hospital and this is the post office. And they are opposite to each other. So the hospital is opposite the post office. We slept under the open sky. This is Suppose this is sky and we slept under the open sky. Okay, so which place? Under the open sky. He dived below the surface of the water. Below means at the depth of the water. So he dived. Where he dived? Below the surface of water. Can you give me more example by speaking? By using any of this preposition? Just raise your hand. Yes, Dianesh. Uh, the car is is the toy car is in the box. The toy car is in the box. You don't use in on. Just try to make with another. Yes, Nisha. The girl is near the boy. The girl is near the boy. Okay, Pian. Yes, ma'am. The rocket launches near the equator so that it would get the free boost. Okay. Your every answers are on rocket nowadays. Right, Vian? Okay. Who wants to say Ane? Ane, you raise your hand. You want to say something? I am inside. I am sitting the under the tree. Okay, I am sitting under the tree. Good. So preposition of place clear? Yes, Krishna, you want to say something? Yes, ma'am. I just want to say a sentence. Yeah, please. Ma'am, it is the metro is going under the ground. What? The metro train is going under the ground. Okay, so metro is going under the ground. So preposition of place clear to all. If yes, give me thumbs up. Okay, let's do fill in the blank. Nesha, read the first one. We, we will play game dash the pool. We will play game in the pool. 
yeah in the pool pool uh next vivek the cat is dash the table the cat is under the table under the table good next i have uh, not gave a chance who is this ma'am anna yes anna the old lady is sitting dash the tree kapde bablu प्रेपोजिशन ऑफ प्लेस इज क्लियर सो शेल बी मूव टू दस्ट वन प्रेपोजिशन ऑफ टाइम एंड डेट time and date see i have divided into three if we talk about season years months centuries decades week so with that we use preposition in if we are talking about days or dates then we use on if we talk about precise time means exact time then we use at for example at 3 pm exact time 3 use at any confusion any question okay so just observe this table care, uh, carefully because after that the question will come based on this If you are done, just give me thumbs up. Okay, some common exceptions are here. Like if we are talking about the morning, so in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. If you are talking about night, at night. If you are talking about special day, on Christmas day. on independence day okay so these are some exceptional case ma'am yes the, the exception cases na the exception cases are a little bit confusing why why it is confusing you just need to remember these things like if you talk about afternoon evening morning you have to use in in the morning in the afternoon in the evening for night we usually use at at night these are very common and basic <coughs> yes, right for day yes, specific day we use on on christmas day but on, at christmas sorry but at christmas but right at Lord? christmas at the moment if you are talking at the moment so you use at christmas okay, okay got yeah. it so done Let's move. Okay, Nisha, read preposition of time and date. Preposition of time refers when an event happens or happened. Some example of preposition of time are at, in, on, etc. Example: Sarah swims on Sundays. She gets. Up at eight o'clock, the Titanic sank in nineteen twelve. This is birthday is on March twenty seven. Yeah. So as you can see, that for preposition of time and date, when is important. When that event happened or happens. and i told you about three basic preposition of time and date at in and on okay sara swims on sundays if we talk about days we use on on sunday on monday like this 
Man just yes. have one doubt. Yeah. Man, what is Titanic? A ship. Yeah, a ship. The largest ship. Man, I the film. But it sank in nineteen hundred and twelve. So early. Okay, next. She gets up at eight o'clock. So here, exact time, precise time. Use at. The Titanic sank in nineteen twelve. So again, talking about year in. His birthday is on March twenty seventh. Talking about date on. Any confusion? Yes, Vivek. What confusion you are having? Ma'am, I don't have any confusion. But ma'am, Titanic hit an iceberg and sunk. Yeah, it hits by iceberg. Okay, so what do you need? Ma'am, it was hit by an iceberg. Yeah, iceberg. Yes. Very large iceberg. Very large iceberg. It was and hit accidentally by iceberg, and what happened? Uh, it got, the uh, the Titanic got holes due to that, and all water filled in that ship, and it and sank. Then it sank. It and then it still sank now. Yeah, maybe some parts are still there in the water because the ship was so big. It That's has made caused a lot of damage in the ship. Yes. Not only not only of ship but of people also. Many oh. people died. Oh. There is one movie also Titanic. You can see if you want. It is based on that. Yeah. Ma'am, isn't it fearsome? Sorry. Ma'am, isn't it fearsome? It's weird sound. Ma'am, I'm saying isn't it fearsome? What fearsome? Ma'am, I mean, it is. Is it not fear? That means uh, if I see that movie, I will feel fear. No, no, you will not fear, but uh, might be you, you can connect with those, uh, you know, characters that how they felt. If you are not very emotional, then only you can see. Okay. Uh, okay, ma'am. Okay, so the next is. I would like. Uh, I want you to write. The sentence by using any of this preposition of time and date, right in the chat box. You have only two minutes. Ma'am, what I am writing chat box? Use it. Sorry, add in on. Use this preposition and make sentence. Ma'am, add or add. Why we use add? For exact time, for precise time. For example, exact time three o'clock. So at three o'clock. Okay. Am I clear, Anne? Yes. Done sending. The aeroplane was still in the sky to go to Jaipur at night. Okay. You have used two prepositions. My mom gets up at six thirty. Good. Ma'am, isn't that okay? To to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it is okay. Okay. Actually, but they didn't did did the tutu then what will it sound like? But I told you that if the sentence is so long, so you can put comma, give a short pause, right? Yes, ma'am. My birthday is on sixteen June. Write it fast. Is this now okay? Uh, the aeroplane was still in the sky to go to yeah. This one is right. Uh, India is going to launch. 
what is this which rocket we are talking about gagayan gagayan rocket in 2023 good so let's move to the next one vian read the first one i go to work at 9 am at 9 am second question is for krishna it is my birthday on saturday on saturday dyanish the exam is dash 26 march the exam is on 26 march ma'am i have a box of my of this Paper. Okay, okay. Let's do the next part. Preposition of direction. Okay. Preposition of direction means which shows direction. Like the ball is going up. This ball is going down. This is over. This is two away from. Okay let's take 5 minute break we will complete it after the break 